Welcome back to N1 Electrical Trade Theory. And this is part three of module four. And in this third part of module four, we'll be taking a look at resistivity. And module four makes up 30% of the weighting towards the final exam. Please remember to subscribe, to like, and to share these videos. Now let's convert the following values first of all. To convert 375 millimeters into meters, we would divide by 1000, and that will give us 0.375 meters. To convert kilometers into meters, we would multiply by 1000, therefore 25 kilometers is equal to 25,000 meters. To convert 58 centimeters into meters, we would divide by 100, and that will give us 0.58 meters. To convert 120 centimeters square into meters square, we would multiply by 10 to the power of minus four. To convert 780 millimeters square into meters square, we would multiply by 10 to the power of minus six. To convert 1.25 micrometers into ohmmeters, we would multiply by 10 to the power of minus six. Resistivity is defined as the resistance offered by a material and is measured in ohm meters. Factors influencing the resistance of a conductor is the length, cross-sectional area, resistivity, and temperature. In this formula, to calculate resistance, it's the resistivity multiplied by the length of the conductor and divided by the cross-sectional area. Now, the units for resistance is ohms, the units for resistivity is ohm meters, and the units for cross-sectional area is square meters, and length, the units is meters. In our example for resistivity, a copper conductor with a length of two kilometers and a diameter of 12 millimeters is used as an aerial conductor. Calculate the resistance of the conductor, assuming that the resistivity of copper is 0 0.0173 microometers. Now let's have a look at what is given to us. The length is two kilometers, so to convert kilometers into meters, we would multiply by a thousand, therefore the length is 2,000 meters. The diameter of the conductor is 12 millimeters so therefore we still need to work out the cross-sectional area the resistivity is 0 0.0173 microometers and to convert microometers into ohmmeters we would multiply by 10 to the minus 6. therefore to calculate the cross-sectional area we use the formula pi d square over 4. now the diameter we want the area to be a meter square so to make it easier for ourselves, I'm going to convert 12 millimeters into meters. Therefore, we divide by 1,000. So inside our formula, it will be pi multiplied by 0, 0, 0, 0,012 square divided by 4 in order to get the cross-sectional area in meters square. Once we substitute all those values to calculate the resistance, the resistivity is 0, 0, 0,0173 times 10 to the power of minus six. The length of the conductor is 2000 meters and the cross-sectional area is 1,13097 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus four. Therefore, the resistance of the conductor is 0 0,306 ohms. Thanks for watching part three of module four. Don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you.